Hi class, hope you guys are having a great day. Um, you guys are going to be able to use the headphones today, so we're just going to go over what you need to do with those before I go ahead and explain what your assignment is. So here is our wall of headphones. In the upper left, right hand corner, excuse me, in the upper right hand corner of your computer screen, you will see a silver number. Okay, that is your computer number. Each computer number also has a pair of headphones. So what you're going to do is you're going to look and say your computer number is number seven. You can pick up the number seven pair of headphones and you can use them. Now, when you go about doing them, the cord is tucked inside of the actual headphone. So you have to untuck it and then unroll it. It's a really long cord, but that's all right because it gives us extra space. So once you're done using them, you can adjust them on the side to your height for your head. Once you're done using them, you're going to put the two headphone pieces together. And on the side here is a couple of notches. So you're going to then wind the cable back up around the notches. When you get to the end, you're going to take that end piece and you're going to tuck it somewhere inside so that way the cord doesn't fall out. Inside the actual headphone, right here and on this side, there are a little notch. So when you get ready to put them back, you put the little notch on the hook. Okay, so let's get started on your assignment. All right, let's talk about your assignment, shall we? Um, your assignment is going to be the FBI cyber assignment. When you guys get to Google Classroom, it'll be there for you. Your lesson is right there on top and everything else will be underneath it. There are seven different lessons that you guys are going to be doing today. So you are first going to start off by going to this link here. It is called sosfbi.gov. It's the site that we're going to be using. You can also go ahead and click on this link here. It does the same thing. It takes you to a page that looks like this. When you get to this page, you will see in the upper right hand corner of those, it'll actually show you what your grade is. So we are going to go down and we are going to choose sixth grade. And it gives you your different options here. Okay. Um, what you are going to see is many different little birds with numbers and those are the different lessons. So there you can click on the bird to go to the lesson or at the very bottom you can click on the actual lessons. You do not have to go in order whatsoever. You can always decide to do number seven first, do number one next, it doesn't matter as long as all the lessons get done. I'm going to go in order just for the sake of working through this. So lesson number one. You are going to stop this little arrow onto one of these boards here. So actually you're going to do this six times. So I may want to stop it at passwords. To stop it, you click on the little bird here. And then you will see a little blurb that comes up. So for example, Josh and Brian were playing video games after school at Brian's house. Brian's parents made him come downstairs to do homework, but Josh stayed upstairs playing. When he got bored with the game, he decided to get on the computer. Since Josh knew the password to the video game system, he guessed that it might be the same for the computer. He was right, and he was able to log on to Brian's computer and surf the internet until his parents came to pick him up. Did Brian make a good cyber decision? I would say no. And I'm correct. And it gives you your little blurb here. So you're going to read that, go back to your assignment, and then you're going to put what you did. So we, we talked about email, right? Or no, we talked about passwords. And then you're going to write down a little blurb about it. So I might say, um, make sure to have safe passwords and don't Always use the same ones. And then I would do that five more times, choosing different ones. Lesson two.
Lesson two is a word search. So you're going to find the words that are down here. You do not have to do them all. You have to do six of them. So I'm going to choose one that I can see right off the bat. So I might do cyberbully. You have to individually click on the letters. So once I click on my cyberbullying word, it creates a check mark. But what's most important is up at the top, it gives me a the word and definition. So what I'm going to go back to is my assignment, and I would type out cyberbullying, and then I need to put the definition right next to it that it gives me right here. Lesson number three. Lesson number three are some videos that are made. So you're going to choose two videos. This is the part where you definitely need the headphones for. You're going to listen to two videos and watch them and see what they're about. And then you're going to come back here and put something that you learned for each one of the videos. Make sure you label which video that you did choose right next to it. Let's talk about lesson number four. Lesson number four is about stopping the crab and helping the crates get up to this little dotted line here so the monkey can up to stop the crab from sending bad emails. So what you're going to do is you are going to drop these crates down here until you get up to the top. So I'm going to quickly do this. That way you can just see I'm really bad at this game. But I'm also just trying to hurry through this. So once I get through this, I want to try to actually get it there. It's not very often I actually pass this portion. Oh, I missed. I didn't win. So as you can see, I didn't win. There's even more. And it tells me that I lost, and it's my message is, oh no, Captain Cyberbully sent out his mean emails. So I'm going to go back to my assignment. Did I win? No. What was the message? That Captain Cyberbully is sending out the mean emails. That's my message. Lesson number five. Now, for the last lesson, you do not have to necessarily win. You just have to make sure that you do it. Now, with that being said, the next puzzle for this lesson is a slide puzzle. I'm not very good at these, but if you're good at them, keep it on hard and see how you do. Otherwise, if you're like me and you don't do very well at this, you can always switch it to easy. So I might switch it to easy so that way I have less blocks to figure out. And then you can switch it to many different ones. So you can choose puzzle one, puzzle two, or puzzle three. They're all it gives you a different message, but that's okay. I've done them all, so I know all the messages. So what you're going to do is you're going to choose one. You only have to do one, not multiples. So you're just doing one of these, and then when you get the message that pops up at the very end, you're going to come back to your assignment, and you are going to put that down right here. Lesson number six. Lesson number six is all about reading behind the lines or knowing what the person is actually saying. So, for example, type in your name and address to win a free prize. That's not really what somebody's meaning to say. They're just after you to get something else. So we're going to put on our x-ray glasses down at the bottom. And they really mean, I want your private information to scam you, not give you a prize. This is what I'm looking for. So this white words, once you put your x-ray glasses on, that's what I'm looking for for this area right here. Okay. And then finally, we have lesson number seven. And in lesson number seven, we are going to help Andy the bird get up to the very top and choose the right responses. So for example, we press start it says when signing up for an account on a trusted website never give out your credit or debit card information you never really want to give that out at all especially at your age so we're going to click that and it's going to tell me I'm correct and it's going to give me a little bit of an information here and again what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and I'm going to type in three different things that I learned and helping the bird get up to the top 
once you are done, if you get done with that, then you are able to be on typing games, nsteens.org slash games, or you can also be working on other homework. Yes, you can listen to music during work time. Remember to keep it lower so that everybody can hear their own things and it's not too loud. And then, of course, make sure at the very end of class you are putting the headphones away that they need to be put away with. If you do not finish this assignment, do not worry about it. You will get a second day for this because it is such a long assignment. If you have any questions, my email is on the board. You can always email me with any questions. If I am able to get to my phone and answer them, I will. Have a great day and have fun.